Well, this is our studio at Little Prince Hotel, San Stephanos, Northwest Corfu. And may I say, what a lovely, lovely studio it is. Beautiful people, very friendly. Great food in their restaurant. It's uh, just what you need for us, a brilliant top holiday. That's uh, Sir Ray walking off to our room. They've got a nice pool around here. What's this one called? Lim? Masvika. Masvika. Yeah, very nice. Beautiful area. Just want to step on us, but don't tell everyone. They all want to come here. Northwest Cornwall. Ah, Cornwall, aren't we? Northwest Corfu. <laughs> Cornwall. Glad it ends. And there's the two ladies enjoying themselves, laying down, doing nothing, which is what it's all about. Doing nothing. Beautiful. Hello. We are now at the Nasica. Is it Nafsika, Uncle Ray? Nafsika, yeah. Nafsika Apartments. San Stefanos. Brother in law's apartment. It's very nice, too. Beautiful. There's the bathroom. Everything you would want. And then the these beautiful view you get wow you can't better that that is absolutely stunning look at that cracking view sunset every night beautiful mm. yeah sunset over the sea absolutely gorgeous right look at that that is beautiful the beautiful San Stefanos, northwest coast of Corfu. That's quite a few way to have a walk today. Sunset just there, right across there. I've got the sunset on that one. Beautiful. That's the old harbour on the left hand side. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's well worth giving these a thought if you want to come here. Okay, yeah. They're beautiful. Got the bar. Yeah, down, down there's a bar on it. And the restaurant. And we had a lovely barbecue they done for us today. Very nice. Beautiful. And there comes old George. <laughs> Hi, George. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Yeah, very nice. Spot on, eh? It is spot on, boy. Yeah, that's right. It's very good. I'm impressed. There we go. Mm. Nice.
sand stuck on Lost Beach, but I don't know what's happened to it. It's really quite mucky. They must have had horrendous storms. The lorries have been down here all week clearing up the weed. Lorry after lorry and dumping it around by the harbour. Albania over there in the distance. It looks like a lot of building work taking place. New bars. San Stefano still is lovely as ever though. Weedy in here today. Very weedy. <laughs>
Little Prince Hotel's swimming pool area. Yeah. No, it's not <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. There's the beach. Uh, the pool bar. Which is well stocked up. They do lovely food. Reception just through there. So we have Little Prince Cocktail Bar, apartments and restaurant, very nice too, it's where we're sitting, where we're staying. And we have two stars where we come for cocktails or drinks most evenings. Very friendly staff. You've got your Al Greco cocktail bars and they do waffles. Tasty Corner, which we've never eaten at to be fair. Not this time around anyway, I think we did quite a few years ago. And Ian is, which is just, just up there. We've got Barras, building work going on next to it, nobody seems to know what. Around the corner we have St Thomas Bay Hotel. <clears throat> Jet Two Holidays Hotel. Nice pool. The bakery. Plenty of little supermarkets. <coughs> Everything you can buy. I just got a, a, lov a lovely waft of chocolate. Let's go and hear the frogs. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got a frog in my throat this morning. Uh, so down here we've normally got Turtles, terrapins, whatever they are. Can't see any this morning. Frogs. You can hear the frogs. Noisy things. Akaba, which is a again a cocktail bar, I believe, at night. Cross back over in a minute. <clears throat> in my throat. 
and then we go to Brisco Greek restaurant. Early in the morning, so nowhere's open. Another little cocktail bar. Zorbas. Everybody loves coming because they do the Greek dancing. Starts with very again the staff are just friendly wherever you go everybody's friendly so many places to go for coffees and breakfast an ATM machine if needed <clears throat> this is Condor where they do do a nice breakfast and evening meals and I think during the high season they have tribute acts and things. Plenty of places to hire your quad bikes. Motorbikes if you want to get around the island. We've got the jewellers designer shops, selling clothes and handbags and there's plenty of other shops <clears throat> back at the far end where we came from where you can buy your normal swimwear and gifts another supermarket Another place to buy the quad bikes. Very popular, all being set up with the helmets. Silver Moon. Where we stayed the first time round. And quite a few other places up there. A lot of places are actually not open this season. And we'll now head down towards the Athena Hotel. More new builds going up. Dog them and then there's a bit of a yawn. I think the Athena is a half board hotel. Breakfast. I believe. Bed and breakfast, yeah. yeah. Which is ideal. It looks nice there. though. It, go to your at night. it does. Looks very nice.
looking back up the hill where we've pretty much just come from. So much choice of apartments <clears throat> to stay. And spoilt for choice with restaurants. This hotel has a pool. Anybody can use the pool. I think it's the same as most places as long as you eat and drink from their bars, then you're welcome. People in having breakfast. Absolute lovely setting. So the tractors are down. Picking up all the weed again off the beach. So down the bottom of there is the um, beach bar, pool bar, beach bar. Plenty of parking if you want to come to the beach, although on this beach you can park on the beach at the far end. There's also parking spaces down here. That part of the beach up there where you can see the tractors and the lorry which are cleaning all the weed where they've had quite a few storms over the winter. And I suppose where we've been locked down for two years with COVID, they probably haven't bothered cleaning the weed off the beach because nobody came here. Looks a lovely day out there today. of art going on up here very cleverly done looks like actual doors and windows but it's painted just doing the painting now Looking really good. So some beds at this pool are 10 euros um, for non-hotel residents. But I think if you then use your, I think you get given a ticket and if you then eat in the pool bar, which we're just coming up to now, then I think you get credited some money off. And they do do nice food. Nice feta baguettes. And the most brilliant view of the beach. Look 
looking a little bit choppy out there this morning. But uh, someone out there swimming. Beautiful food, really recommend it. You need to come here. South here, San Stefanos, Northwest Cornwall. Cool, cool food, lovely place. <laughs> Yeah. 